Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Just to hold up the exemplary, exemplary personalities. Um, in 1998, 97, at Darul Ulum Zakaria, we had Ustaz Kasim Dawood Sheri, and he also, when we used to read to him, and let me see Sheri is busy sleeping. And after a while, Sheri is awake again. SubhanAllah, there must be some wisdom in this, because you look at many great ulama, when they start reaching a certain age, while they're teaching, you know, they doze off, and they just wake up again. So maybe some form of, some form of battery recharge, inshallah, Allah knows best. Allah grant us wisdom, inshallah ta'ala. I will give a very short history of the Holy Quran in South Africa, inshallah. And an important fact on the arrival of Sheikh Yusuf is that when Sheikh arrived, Sheikh came with 12 Imams to the camp. That's a point that was not noted. And it is from this, these 12 Imma that came with the Sheikh, here established the first Muslim community. And we find that from the coming of Sheikh, there was an Imam, Imam Abdul Basi Sultaniyah, but he is better known as the Raja of Tambora. The Raja of Tambora. And this Imam, he was actually brought to the Cape chained. So he was tied up in chains. And he was then housed in the castle in Cape Town which we usually go for sightseeing. This is where they held the slaves. So this Imam was taken there and this was where he was housed. However, through the intervention of Sheikh Yusuf of Makassar, the Imam was then allowed, so he was removed from the castle and he was housed in Stellenbosch. But though, though he was housed in Stellenbosch in isolation, Imam Abdul Basi, Abdul Basi then wrote the Quran from memory. But this very Quran that the Raja of Tambara wrote, after he wrote it, it was a gift. And he gave it as a gift to the governor, Simon van der Stel. But to note, if we've done history earlier, there was the fortrick four leader, uh, Peter Trif. And Pit Ratif is a direct descendant of Raja of Tambara. And after Raja of Tambara, we look and we actually reach, because that was in 1697. That was three years after the coming of Sheikh Yusuf in 1694. And 1697, this is when Raja of Tambara wrote the first handwritten Quran. Century later, in 1792, in the, the release of Imam Abdullah ibn Qadi, which is known as Tuanguru. Tuanguru then set up the first madrasa, which was in Dorm Street in Cape Town. And as time went on, there was an establishment of the assembly of the recitals of the Holy Quran in the Cape and in South Africa. And there was also an Imam, Imam Muawiyah. And there was many Hufaz, but Imam Muawiyah was the first Imam of a Masjid who was Hadith. And later Jawatul Muslimin still holding on that same legacy of the assembly of the Holy Quran. In South Africa came a Sheikh, Sheikh Salih. Abadi. Now the father of Sheikh Salih Abadi was Muhammad Sulaiman Abadi. And Muhammad Sulaiman Abadi was the first Saudi Arabian who settled in Cape Town. And they, they settled in, in Claremont and Weinberg, in that side of Cape Town. But on Sheikh Salih Abadi's return from Saudi Arabia in 1938, on his immediate return from Saudi Arabia in 1938, Sheikh Salih Abadi established the official Hafid institution, Quran recitation institution in Cape Town in South Africa, year 1938. And on the establishment of Sheikh Salih Abadi, 
he then became a vital role in the already established assembly of the Quran reciters in South Africa. And all these seeds that was plant, planted in the preservation of the Holy Quran in South Africa included many exemplaries, like Sheikh Yusuf Boli, um, which up to date we find uh, the Muslim Judicial Council, Department of Quranic Affairs, and we still have many living amongst us, uh, Sheikh Ihsan David, which many of us, our Asa, need, uh, goes through Sheikh uh, Tulaza. There's a unique feature of Sheikh Ihsan David, that Sheikh Ihsan David, who still resides in Surrey Estate, is the first Cape Townian to attain and graduate from Al Azhar in the Ashara Kirat, in the 10 different modes of the recitation of the Holy Quran. And we move on and we look at the printing of the Quran. As this assembly of the Quran in South Africa took place, um, the Quran was assembled, but also different printing has taken place. However, the first Quran that was initially imported to South Africa was imported from India. But as time went on, uh, Mir's farm in Cape Town, they started printing, printing their own sets of Qurans as well. Mir's farm in and Johannesburg. Johannesburg, uh, there was Mir's in Cape Town. So uh, after them, a very well-known printing company, Campris, they in Athlone, Athlone, Cape Town, they then started printing Qurans as well. And after Camp Press, we, two of our Shuyuk, Sheikh Shokit Ali and Sheikh Ridwan Ismail, they then printed the very famous colored coded Quran. And for some time, that was the most famous Quran read in South Africa until later and until up to today. The Egyptian and the Saudi printed Quran, the Uthmani script, has then became the most read and the most printed Quran beyond South Africa. And inshallah ta'ala that closes a very brief and short history of the Quran in South Africa. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.